that's him he's 30 yards away right there perfectly broadside hey guys welcome back to the channel and it looks like we were lucky enough to be one of the chosen ones because we received the key to test out the new reserve the cuerto colinas now the reserve is actually going to be coming out on december 10th for all platforms but it's probably going to take a little bit longer for council so i feel sorry for you guys but hopefully it comes out as soon as possible Okay, so it looks like we arrived at the Granja Riverena, and before we go anywhere, I want to take a look at the map and take a look at the surroundings around us so we can see kind of the layout of the land. Okay, so it looks like we're going to be starting at the Laras de la Cosecha, and there actually is a river that goes all the way through the entire map here. I don't see too many lakes, but I mean, there's still quite a few lakes around. From what I heard that there was only going to be like maybe three or four lakes in the area, but I can definitely see probably seven or eight of them in uh, at least one side here but for the most part i think we want to start off i just heard a road here in the background but i think we want to start off over here at this mountain and i believe there's four different mountains there's one here one here one over here and of course there's one right here in the beginning so i think we're going to start off at this first mountain here head on over there and just take a look and see what it looks like but before we go over to the mountain, I want to check out this thing first. This looks like a lookout tower, but I would honestly say it looks like it's from the medieval times. It kind of looks like a, uh, I don't know, like an old school dungeon or something like that from the inside. But let's go up here, take a look at the view. Wow, look at what it looks like from up here. That is astonishing. We got yellow, purple, green, um, kind of like tan, brown, green. Uh, this looks like it would be a good place for some sheep to roam around with all the grass and these rocks kind of around here like this I feel like we could maybe get lucky enough to see something like that But we'll keep on looking and for now This is what it's gonna look like so now that we kind of have an idea about what this train looks like I think we're gonna head on over to the mountains and go look for some sheep, but first we should probably grab some rifles But as we're heading over here We actually found a wild boar bed and a couple of them better here actually and there's actually a decent male here So since we're sitting here with the 243 why not try and take a shot on this wild boar centered him pretty nicely that should take him down although 243 is pretty weak so we should probably put a follow-up into him if at all possible and i'm pretty sure i see a european hair running off in the distance right here so let's see if we can't take him down as well we put him right down right in his tracks obviously the 243 is a little bit too big for european hair but hey it is our first european hair so we'll take it so we might as well grab her. That was actually a female European hare at 79 yards out. It's going to score 661 because we did use the 243, but we still have our first European hare of the new map. Let's go over here now and pick up this wild boar and see how the 243 did. It actually didn't go too far. So I'm wondering if we actually did hit it twice or if it really went down that fast. It looks like we only hit it once, a single long hit at 146. But with the 243 and even the Palmer tips, actually, these are the soft tips. We don't have hardly any penetration, so that's to be expected. It's only going to score 671, but we still got a 93% on the quick kill. And this is my first look at seeing some sunflowers in a new map like this. I grew up and uh, we had sunflowers all around us in Wisconsin where I grew up. A lot of the fields around us had sunflowers and they were taller than me as a kid. And I remember running through these fields and it was scary because they were taller than me and I couldn't see. Uh, I don't think they'd be taller than me now. But anyways, look how tall these things are. You can see that you really wouldn't see an animal unless it ran right down the path in front of you here. But let's head on over to the lodge now and go get some ammunition or maybe even some rifles that could actually work better than a 243 with uh, soft points. All right, so for rifles, I think we're gonna grab the 30 odd six. We'll grab the new Martinson 6.5 Thunder rifle. That thing looks absolutely incredible. Look at the stock on that thing. I really wanna try that out. We'll also grab the Mosin Nagant and of course the bow. We'll grab a couple of arrows. We'll grab some shells and the uh, Hyperion scope. I think the Hyperion works just fine. So that'll work. We'll grab the scope for the bow sight and then let's head on out and go try and find some sheep. Okay guys, so it looks like we're about to become into sheep territory because look at what it looks like up here. This terrain is incredible. It reminds me of hunting Utah and uh, Arizona back when I was like 17 or 18 for elk back in the day. But anyways, it is so awesome because you come up on these really high cliffs and you can look down really far off in the valleys and the ravines and you can actually see bedded animals. I'm hoping we can find some sheep. All right, guys, looks like these guys are on our first sheep out here. I don't know what it is just yet. We'll find out here. That is an Iberian Mufalon. It looks to be a two minor, so not a very big one, but that's our first sign of a sheep, and I really want to take him down. So we have with us the 6.5 bolt action rifle. It's new, and it should be coming out here pretty soon. It's coming out on the 10th whenever it releases on all the other platforms, but I want to make sure there isn't any other big Mufalon in the background. 
But then again, I kind of want to get our first Mufalon down because we haven't even seen one yet. This one is about 330 out. So we're going to take the 6.5 and kind of hold right for the center of the lung. It should drop right in there perfectly. All right, here we go. That was money. <laughs> oh, I just saw a huge Mufalon take off in the background. So I'm really glad we got our first Mufalon down. But now I know that there's a giant here too. So what I want to do now is get ready. Go pick up our first Mufalon. Get in position and try and take down this big Mufalon with the bow. How cool would that be? All right, guys, here he lays right here, our first Mufalon of the hunt. Wow, that's going to be pretty awesome. We're going to take a picture of him, but we're also getting a warning call from the uh, Mufalon from behind here. So we're going to take a picture. Actually, I don't like this angle. We're going to go on the other side and get a little bit better of lighting. That's more like it. Look at the color variation in that thing. It's like all tan and it has a white patch right in the stomach area. But look at the design in the horn too. Wow, that's so distinguishing. The fact that the grooves are kind of offset a little bit and that just looks awesome. Anyways, let's grab our first Mufalon and I want to get over here and try and get down one of these big ones with the bow. So that one's going to score 672. We actually hit it in the spinal cord vertebrae at 315. Whew. So, oh, that is interesting. Look at that. The vitals are way lower than you would expect. It looks like the lung goes all the way down to the stomach there. And the top of the lung kind of goes only to the middle of the body. I do want to save it though because it's our first Mouflon. But I want to try and get over here now and get this big ram. I think they're called rams, right? Okay guys, so we just slid over a little bit here and I can see a whole herd of Mouflon coming through. It looks like we have a couple of threes. There's a female there. I'm not exactly sure which one we're going to try and go for just yet, but I definitely want to get one of these good ones. Oh my god, that's a giant. That is a huge Mufalon. Wow. I mean, that reminds me of the Bighorn Sheep that we just got the other day on the Hunter Classic. That thing is a monster. And he just bedded down less than 50 yards away from us, guys. We have a perfect win. And we have the bow zeroed in for 22 yards. So if we can get to anywhere within 30. Got another good one right there as well. But it looks like this one's going to uh, get up here. Okay, so that's interesting. This must be the bighorn here on this one. The uh, That's another decent one there. But the one that just batted down right back there didn't have as big of horns as this one. And they're both four. So this one's actually moving closer. And he's perfectly broadside. Okay, this should definitely be our chance <laughs> i can't believe we're about to put the spot in stock on this giant mufalon with a bow i've been wanting to do this since i heard this reserve was coming out and we're about to do it right now that's him he's 30 yards away right there perfectly broadside oh my god this is awesome i can't believe how big he is and the fact that we got so close to him we're less than 30 yards away right now we have perfect cover we're zeroed in for 22 but i want to double check how far he is Okay, he's 26. That should work, right? And he's down. He's down. Monster Mufalon is down. That's another good one there as well. But we just took down a giant Mufalon with the bow. Oh, that was incredible. Okay, so I want to sneak over here now. And take a couple of good pictures of this guy, of course. But then... I think we're going to try and get back on the rest of this herd of Mufalon because there's definitely another good one. I do believe, though, that we got the biggest one down, and that was a very big accomplishment. The fact that we were able to sneak up to less than 30 yards away from this whole entire herd of Mufalon, and we ended up picking out the giant monster Mufalon. Oh, that's incredible. Look how far the uh, horn curls forward like that. I want to take some really, really sweet pictures of this thing. That is incredible looking. Very good, very good. I really, really like that a lot. Actually, let's go prone. Oh, that looks awesome. I think we got our best picture yet. I know we're taking a lot of pictures, but this is pretty cool because it's our first monster Mufalon. What's he gonna... Holy 927 score. That's a giant gold Mufalon. We snuck up to 29 yards out and man, we ended up getting a single lung hit. So he was smoked, but we barely hit the top of the lung. So like I was saying before, the vitals on this are way lower than most of the other animals. You basically have to hit the very bottom of the stomach in order to hit lung, as you can see. 
we were holding for the center of the shoulder, which normally would have been a perfect double lung shot placement on an animal, but in this case, we almost missed the top of the lung. I mean, he was still smoked, and we got him, and I'm really happy, but wow, that thing's a giant. I really want to take a look at the true score on this thing now, but look at the size of the curl on that thing. Trophy rating of 244.2, horn length of 62.7, and overall spread of 21.7. But overall, a trophy score, uh, a total score of 244 for the true score. 244.2. That's an awesome looking Mufalon. And I can't wait to put him in the trophy lodge. Okay guys, so I got on the tracks of the Mufalon and they actually led us to this, but these do not look like Mufalon. In fact, those are the Basit, I think, Basit Ibex. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but yeah, they led us right to these Ibex out here. So what's interesting is I was tracking down this whole entire herd of Mufalon. There was probably like seven or eight of them here and it looks like we're gonna get our chance at our first Basit Ibex. Let's actually zero in for 300 and see if we can't get kind of a walking shot on this. Uh, well, I didn't expect it to drop like that. <laughs> that must have been like a 300 yard heart shot. All right, guys, here she is. Our first Basit Ibex. It is a female, but that's still pretty cool because that's going to be our first Basit Ibex. That was a holy 403 yard double lung heart shot. Wow. No wonder why she went down so fast. That was an incredible shot placement. 403 yards out. It's going to score 692 because it was a female, but I am more impressed with the shot placement in this 6.5 and the accuracy. So both times we took uh, shots with it and they both dropped on the spot. So I want to show you where we just got that huge Mufalon and the Besiet Ibex at. Right here we got the Besiet Ibex from 11 till 7.30 and the Mufalon here from 9 until 1300. Right here we're at the very first mound, basically right when you start, uh, right when you spawn in. So overall we had a pretty good hunt so far. We got a huge Mufalon, we got our first Mufalon, and we got our first Besiet Ibex. And now we're going to take a look at this lodge here. Looks like we have a backpack, a couple of beds, some uh, soda, nice little lounge here, a really cool table for a really good view. I love these leather couches. It seems like the devs like them as well. But man, if this was my house, I would just sit here and stare out here all day. Look at that view. You would never get bored. You just keep on looking. Um, I don't know what this is. Let's check it out. It looks like a bathroom. Interesting. Can we flush it? Probably not. Okay. Come back over here. It looks like we have a stove, a nice little kitchen. Wow, the design and the uh, texture that they put into the cupboards here. I mean, that just looks so realistic. It looks like it's all old and worn out. And even the backsplash, they put some stone around the windowsill here. Wow, these are all stone buildings here. This wood wheel, wood wagon wheel, or whatever you want to call it from like the medieval times, I guess. Wow, this is incredible and come over here and take a look at this view right over here it looks like a whole orchard of kind of apple trees to be honest because they're all like lined up i don't know what else would be lined up like that planted but if we go over here you can see this whole mountain right here this is right where we just got that giant mufalon and the besiet ibex but now what i want to do is go back over there and hope that we can find a good besiet ibex something well at least like a decent male so we decided to go back up the mountain. We just got to the top here and there's another herd of Mufalon. I believe this is the same herd here, but this herd down here is a completely new herd. So there's gotta be probably like 16 or 17 Mufalon here because there's seven or eight on this side and there was eight on the other side. So there's a lot of Mufalon here. Now, the thing is, I just spotted a huge Basit Ibex. It was huge, but the thing is, I started recording right after it went into the brush, so can't actually show you that right now. But anyways, I'm trying to find this huge Ibex. But since I don't see the Ibex right now, I think what we're gonna do is try and take ourselves down another Mufalon with a 6.5. So here we go, about 250 out. That should have been, oh wow. I can't believe how accurate this 6.5 been. Look at all the Mufalon taken off. That is definitely another big four in the middle right there. You can see just the size of the mass on his, uh, his horn there in the curl that is a good one 
but I think we'll hold off on him for now because we already got that big one and we got another Mufalon down. So let's go over and go pick him up. Like I said, I think we might have caught in hard again. And if we did, <laughs> this 6.5 is so accurate. And I told you, another heart shot, double lung heart at 185 yards out. Wow, this 6.5 is so accurate. I think I'm going to start using this more often for, I wonder if we can use it for white too. Probably not. I'm not even going to say that, but uh, I don't know. I'm going to use it for whatever we can actually use it because it's it sounds incredible and it is amazingly accurate at long distance we hit that one double lung heart at 403 now we just got double lung heart and stomach at 185 on this one and yeah it's it's amazing okay guys i just want to show you something you see this icon popping up in the corner of the screen here when that happens go into system go into game and turn your tut your uh, tutorial hints on and then turn them back off hit escape do the same thing again or vice versa eventually that will go away but this is the only way you can solve this problem trust me it's very complicated very confusing but eventually you keep hitting escape turn it on turn it off eventually it will work and it will actually go away and there you go it went away finally that can be very frustrating and kind of distracting so if you're like me and uh things like that bother you seeing it in the corner then that's the only way to get it to go away because I tried other things and it just doesn't go away. So I actually went over and found the track from that Basit Ibex and it led us right to this guy. Now, I don't think that's the same one I saw. It's a decent size Basit Ibex, don't get me wrong. And it's about to walk out less than 10 yards away from us. So we will try and take it. He actually tried to turn and run, but luckily we squeezed one off and ended up dropping him right in his tracks. So this will actually be our first nice male Basit Ibex. And he's gonna score 641, ended up catching double lung and uh, vertebrae on that at 10 yards away. But it's our first nice male Ibex. Okay, so for the longest time I've been tracking down this Ibex and I keep hearing it, but I can't see it. So I feel like, I don't know if it's invisible or what's going on. Anyways, we're on top of the rocks here. We're going down this ridge so we can see this whole entire ravine down here. There's no way we won't be able to miss this Ibex. At least we should be able to see the thing. He's right there. Look at the size of the horns on that. And he's down. So it looked like he was trying to climb up the mountain here. And we ended up taking him down. I tracked this thing for a pretty good ways. I kept hearing it walking, but I could never see it because it was always on the backside of the ridge. I want to be careful because of this female is, is kind of spazzing out. I don't want her to uh, affect us. But look at the size of the horn. That should definitely be a good one. And we'll take a really cool picture of that. You can see the tracer sticking out. Wow. Let's see what's going to score. He's going to score 860. So almost a 900 scoring Basit Ibex. That is definitely a monster Ibex. Wow. Look at the spread on the horns on that thing. It looks like an airplane coming through, especially from the side. The horns are almost as long as its entire body. Actually, the length of them are 79 inches. <gasps> Overall spread of 43, and I knew that this female was going to have something to do with us getting hurt, but we're going to taxidermize it really quick, and I think we should be okay now that we taxidermized it, but yeah, this thing is pretty aggressive looking, and I can't wait to put him in the trophy lodge. He's a huge goal. He's going to score 860. All right, guys, welcome back to our trophy lodge. And right here, we decided to put all three of our mounter animals. Well, actually, this first one was just our first ever Mufalon. So that's why we put him right here. So I think this one scored like 760 or something like that. I don't know. He wasn't that small, but not a bad size one. And right here is our absolute monstrous. I mean, he wasn't diamond, but look at the size of the horn on this thing. This was our Besit Ibex. He scored 850. It, it looks incredible. I've never seen one before, but I can imagine seeing that thing coming up on the mountains. Oh, it would be a rush. This is our monster Mufalon. This thing scored 927. In fact, I think we can put some lights on here so we can see them a little better. But yeah, 927 monster Mufalon, and we took him down with the bow we got a little bit lucky on that one though and not that we tried to uh to hit so high but like i said 
the vitals on these uh on these animals are lower typically you want to put it like right where the dot is right there right on the crease of the shoulder but that's actually the top of the lung on these mouflon you really need to aim like right here you need to aim for the heart because if you don't there's a good chance that you could hit right above the lung and i don't know you might just get vertebrae or you might get spinal cord if you're lucky but either way make sure you hold lower but i think that's actually gonna be a good way to end this video and i hope you guys enjoyed it I hope you're looking forward to this release coming out on December 10th, which will be coming out pretty soon. And also, I have a few uh, DLC codes that I can give away here in uh, the next couple of hunts. But yeah, stay tuned for that. And that's going to be it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.